Hi guys, it's Cynthia again with another episode of Healing Holden. So I wanted to give you an update on how he's doing with the silica water. I started giving him Fiji um, during the month of July, um, just all the time. Ice cubes, water, tea, you name it. That was what he was drinking. And um, lo and behold, he started to, as you remember, uh, the well, hopefully you remember if you have watched the other video on silica water, um, it leaches or it, it pulls out aluminum across the blood-brain barrier. And uh, sure enough, um, I didn't do any urine tests on him or anything, but during that whole month he was drinking it. And he started getting um, a recurrence of what he had during his yeast issue. Um, the, we have a popcorn ceiling here and during his episodes with yeast and, and the worst of it, he was hallucinating and seeing um, the vents, I guess, talk to him. I don't know. He was talking to them and he was touching bubbles that weren't there and the cat was really scary all of a sudden and dogs were terrifying and so I, I got the impression that he was seeing things, especially when he was trying to touch bubbles and say bubbles when they weren't there. Um, so he also started having trouble with his dad's carpet and it, interestingly enough my daughter had this um, uh, an issue with uh, the mitochondria in her textbook. Uh, she said it was just it weirded her out, it freaked her out and you know my, mitochondria, the picture, there's like squiggly things in the middle so I can only imagine that those things just like the popcorn ceiling and the carpet and then um, my ex-husband said he had a problem with the lines in his hand, like seeing the wrinkles in his hand when he was a kid. And I think what's going on is it's kind of like the, the hallucinatory effect of patterns where they can look maybe like they're moving, so the ceiling looks like it's breathing or, you know, undulating or what have you. But anyway, it, it was to me a clear sign that um, if you've watched my video on yeast and, and what occurs um, when there's an imbalance of yeast, just like with a woman and a vaginal yeast infection, anytime the bacteria is taken away, like if you get, take an antibiotic, anytime the bacteria is lowered, um, the yeast will start to overcrowd or start to like grow into that vacuum or that, that negative space. So um, then you have a yeast infection, which is why women are told to eat yogurt when they're on antibiotics. So the same thing happens in your intestines. And so if you'll work backwards with me, if he has aluminum being secreted through his digestive tract um, by pooping, then it is going to, uh, just by being there, the metal will suppress the bacteria growth. So his good bacteria can't grow and the yeast starts to uh, grow instead, causing the hallucinatory effect. During that time, he was getting more kind of lucid moments. And um, so, you know, there was, there was the, the, basically the Herxheimer effect, which is a healing crisis. So while he was having lucid moments and lots of you know, improved clarity, he was also having hallucinations, I guess, about the ceiling and different things. So um, I need to freak out, you know, but I just kind of, I took it as kind of a, uh, a sign that everything was working and now we just needed to, okay, stop for a moment and, with the silica water and go back to treating his yeast until we could suppress it enough to where those symptoms aren't bothering him anymore and then start again. Uh, so I'll use my Candex and my Enteras gel for that. Um, but I have a great, uh, great news um, that I'll share with you guys. Uh, my son has, he's 10 now. We've been doing this for seven years and he is now mainstreamed. And I just did homework with him for the first time this weekend. Like they didn't, you know, when you're in special ed, you don't really do homework. You know, you might read something or whatever. But um, we just did math homework and he's on the fifth grade level, which he's in fifth grade. Um, he's, he's low on comprehension, but I think it might have something to do with the way the questions are posed because he does great when they're multiple choice. And I remember having difficulty with like the way a question is posed. There were so many variables that weren't accounted for that my, in my mind, my answers were like, 
well, it could have been this, or it could be this, or it could be this. And so I don't really take it as him not comprehending, just, you know, you know, some, sometimes questions that you're given aren't really that leading, so you don't really know what kind of answer you're, they're looking for. Um, I kind of take it as that. I was shocked at how well he did his math homework and relieved and grateful. And uh, so again, I encourage you, this can be done. Let's do it. Let's get these kids well. And um, you know, anyone with a mental uh, uh, illness, or um, I had a, one of the kids that went to his summer school. Oh yeah, he, um, his mom talked to me and I asked her if her son was autistic. She said, no, he's schizophrenic. And that gluten was causing him to have, you know, anytime he had any grain at all, he would have hallucinations. Well, he, she didn't know about the yeast. The doctor that she was going to um, hadn't been telling her about the yeast. And uh, it turned out she had been going to, to Dr. Osborne, and, and that's kind of a, you know, with schizophrenia, I don't think the science is really pushing this yeast thing, but it, it's huge. And um, so, when she watched my videos, and I guess if you're watching now, um, she mentioned it to me. So I'm really excited for her, too, um, to see how far she can get her son. I know it's one of those things that you just take one foot in front of the other, and you do what you can, when you can, when you can afford it, when you have time, when you aren't doing a million other things, and when you've steeled your nerves to get on it. Um, so best wishes to you, and, um, and I'll see you all later. just wanted to catch up. Talk to you soon. Um, Still looking for new stuff to give you and new stuff for Holden.